Hello, my name is Sandy Hood, and this is a very short video looking at one question and how to tackle it within a SEMA OT exam. Each SEMA OT exam has uh, 90 minutes for you to answer 60 questions. In other words, one and a half minutes per question or 90 seconds per question. And typically, that means that you've got to be able to work through them fast and recognise what they need. So this is a video for busy people who can spare a few minutes just to look at how to answer one question. Here we're going to look at how to tackle this particular question from the P1 um, mock exam that was produced on the Pearson View website. This is question 51. It's a limiting factors question and we're going to find the maximum price to pay for additional material. The syllabus area is C2 part C. It's a short-term decision-making issue where we are analysing short-term pricing and product decisions and we are looking at a product mix decision. So we've got a single product mix analysis in situations where there are limitations on production demand and moreover production constraints. We will, when we see the question, we'll see that there are three products and we will see that there is a limit on how much we can sell of each of those three products and also there is a limit on the raw material that can be used to make them. When I start the question, my aim will be to get through it as quickly as I can so that I can achieve the 90 second target that I have set myself. Here, a company produces three products from a raw material that is in short supply. The standard cost of the raw material is 50 cents per kilogram. Details are below. We've got A, B and C, maximum sales, planned production, contribution per unit and raw material per unit. Then we're told a new supplier has been found that is prepared to supply a further 1,000 kilograms of the material. And our job is to find the maximum amount that the company should pay for that additional 1,000 kilograms of material. We can tell that this is a uh, limiting factors question because of the expression short supply within the very first sentence. And then when we look at these three products, we can actually see the, the ranking. Product C is highest because we're producing as many as we can sell. So there's no point making any more of those. Product A is next, and we, we've got spare sales potential for 280 units. So 280 at 2.5 kilograms per unit would use 700 of our 1,000 kilograms. And for product B, we've got 300 kilograms left. So at 3 kilograms per unit, we can produce... 100 uh, product Bs. So looking at this, we've got 280 units at uh, £4.50 contribution, 100 units at 480 contribution, add them together, add on the 50 cents per kilogram for the raw material that we're buying, and we've got a maximum that we should be paying of 2,240. So given that the question is asking which of these four alternatives we are going to go with the 2,240 alternative. Okay, I hope that that's been useful for you. Um, the idea certainly was to just to look at this kind of question and just to try and see that they are manageable within the time limits, but you do need to have the knowledge that you go into the question with and then be able to use it quickly to then move along. I've given more detail here in terms of how to lay out the, the answer as you do your preparation. I don't think you'd have enough time to do this within the 90 second question on the day of the exam, but if you go into the exam familiar with it, then you're, you're well aware of what to do. You can contact me. I'm on sandyandsandyhood.com and my website where you can see details of the courses that I've got on offer is www.sandyhood.com and it's actually page ID 42.